Hello everyone, welcome to all of you to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about the deviation of long run average cost curve. And as we know, in the long run, the producer has sufficient time, the producer has enough time in which he can change all of his inputs like land, labor, plant, machinery, capital, technology in order to increase his production. But on the contrary to this, in the short run time period, the producer cannot change all of his inputs like land, plant, machinery, technology, these factors cannot be increased or changed in the short run duration time period. Only labor and raw materials, electricity, these factors are called variable which can be changed in the short run time period. And here we are going to discuss about the deviation of long run average cost curve. And this long run average cost curve is U-shaped and this is because of the operation of law of returns to scale. This law of returns to scale we have already discussed in our previous video. You can go into our video sections and you can choose this video and you can study well about the law of returns to scale as well. The long run average cost curve is U-shaped. This is because of the operation of law of returns to scale. As we have already discussed the concept of law of returns to scale in our previous video, here we discuss in short that in the first stage of law of returns to scale, the total product increases sharply than the increment in the cost. Therefore, the proportionate increase in output is greater than the proportionate increase in the inputs. As a result, the average cost declines in the beginning. Thereafter, in the second stage of law of returns to scale, that is constant returns to scale, the proportionate increase in the output is equal to the proportionate increase in inputs. And due to this, the long run average cost curve will be constant and will be parallel to x axis for a while, for some time. And in the third stage of law of returns to scale, the proportionate increase in output is less than the proportionate increase in inputs. And due to this, the long run average cost curve starts to increase. And in this way, at first, the long run average cost will decline, thereafter it becomes constant for a while and thereafter it will increase. So the long run average cost curve will take the form of u shaped. Now, we will discuss how it will be derived. In the short run time period, the producer is tied up with the given plant. He cannot change the size of plant whatever the level of output he has to produce. But in the long run time period, the producer can change the size of the plant according to the requirement of output level. Therefore, in the long run time period, the producer will use various plant, various machines for the production of different levels of production. And therefore, long run average cost curve contains or we can say that it envelops various short run average cost curves and the short run average cost curves denotes the plant. So, in the diagram that we have presented here, SSC1 short run average cost curve 1, that is SSC2 short run average cost curve 2, SSC3 short run average cost curve 3. Here we have taken 3 plant in the production of goods and SSC1 is the small size plant, SSC2 is the middle size plant and SSC3 is the large scale plant and the producer chooses the required plant on the basis of the level of output that he has to produce. Suppose in the diagram the producer will choose SSC1 plant up to the level of output OM level because 
up to OM level of output the average cost per unit will be economical if the producer will choose SSC one plant up to OM level of output but after OM level of output suppose if the producer wants to produce OM1 level of output then here we can easily see that the cost by SSE1 plant will be L1 M1 but if the producer will use SSE2 plant then the cost will be M1 L2 and that is lower than M1 L1 so up to OM units of output the cost is ML and after this level of output after OM level of output the cost from SSC1 will be greater than the cost from SSC2 Therefore, after OM level of output, if the producer wants to produce more units of OM level of output, then he will choose SSC 2, short run average cost curve 2. And up to ON, up to ON level of output, the producer will operate in the SSC 2 plant. But after ON level of output, if the producer wants to produce more than ON level of output, then the producer will choose SSE 3 plant because SSE 3 plant will have lower cost, lower average cost than SSE 2 plant after ON level of output. And this small size plant, middle size plant and large size plant that is SSC1, SSC2 and SSC3 respectively are contained in this LAC curve. So this LAC curve is also called enveloped curve. Enveloped curve in the sense that it has enveloped like the letters are enveloped into the paper likewise the SSC, different SSCs are enveloped by LSE curve. So LSE is also called, called enveloped curve. So LSE is also called enveloped curve. And this LSE will be of use if the minimum point of LSE is B, whereas the minimum point of SSE 2 is also B. The lowest costing in the long run that the producer will enjoy will be OQ level of at the OQ level of the lowest cost that the producer will have in the long run duration will be on the OQ level of output and the lowest cost will be QB okay and how we can draw this Typical graph. I will teach you how to draw this graph. We can take many more SSC short run average cost curves for 5, 6, but for examination point of view, we have taken 3 SSC curves SSC1, SSC2, and SSC3. But in the long run, since the producer has sufficient time, he can choose the plant size accordingly and now I will teach you how to derive this curve and before this see here at point A SSE 1 is tangent to LSC long run average cost curve at point A at the falling portion here we can see that P is the middle point of SSE1 and at the falling portion of SSE1 the LSE is tangent. Okay. Similarly at point B 
द मिनिमम पॉइंट ऑफ एल एस सी एंड मिनिमम पॉइंट ऑफ एस एस सी टू आर टेंजेंट एंड आफ्टर द मिनिमम पॉइंट ऑफ एल एस सी वेन द एल एस सी स्टार्ट टू इंक्रीज देन एस एस सी थ्री और वी कैन से दैट एनी शॉर्ट रन कॉस्ट कर्व एनी शॉर्ट रन एवरेज कॉस्ट कर्व विल बी टेंजेंट टू द एल एस सी एट द राइजिंग पोर्सन द आर इज द मिनिमम पॉइंट ऑफ एस एस सी थ्री बट आफ्टर दिस एट द राइजिंग पोर्सन द एस एस सी थ्री टेंजेंट एल एस सी एट पॉइंट सी सो बिफोर द मिनिमम पॉइंट ऑफ एल एस सी एवरेज शॉर्ट रन एवरेज कॉस्ट कर्व विल टेंजेंट एल एस सी एट द फॉलोइंग पोर्सन एट द मिनिमम पॉइंट ऑफ एल एस सी the short run average cost curve will also be tangent at its own minimum point and after the minimum point of lsc when the lsc is increases every sac will be tangent to lsc at the rising portion and now we will draw this diagram i will teach you here how to draw the diagram it is very simple here on the x axis there is output okay y axis there is cost first draw lse it becomes convenient for you if you draw lse at first this is lse that is of u shape and point out the minimum point that is b okay and draw the perpendicular line that will be at oq level the minimum point is b of the lsc curve here you draw a ssc 2 curve ssc 2 okay and here put here a point and draw a line like this this will be ssc3 and here at the following portion ssc1 okay so this is the tangency point a b and this is the tangency point c so here the graph is completed the minimum point here is it is p the minimum point here it is r so in this way we can plot the diagram of long run average cost curve and we can describe in briefly about the derivation of long run average cost curve okay and with this i would like to request all of you to like and share my videos as well as subscribe my channel thank you very